Hi, John Garfield. Hey, yesterday we had a, uh, a prayer time, Courts of Heaven, <laughs> with our uh, tribe. And we all repented for thinking too small, for, you know, not believing for the magnitude of what God has in uh, individual books. And uh, so I just want to mention that uh, God is raising up sons right now, and they are way more courageous, way more able to multiply and make a difference than we're used to. And you can, I hate to use this illustration too early, <laughs> I might lose some people, <laughs> but that's okay. When you look at, uh, I, I had another friend the other day that was uh, complaining about Trump. You know, actually, he's a friend of a friend, both you know, not necessarily saved. And um, so he's too brash, he talks about himself, blah, blah, blah. And what um, Trump does is he talks about his achievements. He talks about what his administration is doing. He talks about his accomplishments. Guess what? So should we. And here's, here's why I say that. John 5, uh, 19 is that verse that says, uh, Jesus said, I only do what I see the Father doing. So there's this sheep mentality that, that quotes that verse out of context. I just do what the Lord tells me to do. Nothing more, nothing less. And when you read down in that verse, a few more verses down through 26, it says the Father's given all judgment to the Son, and the Son judges whoever he wants to. Uh, so there's some uh, independence um, that, that Jesus had that was healthy. He voluntarily undertook the father's purpose but um, he didn't have like a, a list of marching orders every morning he went out and implemented that purpose out of his own initiative and he got crucified because he was bragging like trump he said he was the son of god and the jews understand that better than we do they understood that he was claiming to be god which is exactly who he was. He was Emmanuel, God with us. That's who Jesus is. Um, so in John 5, 19, 5, 26, it says, um, For just as the Father has life in himself, even so he gave to the Son also to have life in himself. And he gave him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Um, so I, I want to suggest that... Uh, we are supposed to have life in ourselves. <laughs> and that's the, you know, one of the things that people are running from is, uh, I just want to be a servant. I just want to do what God tells me to do. I just want to be obedient. And that's not a son. Sons take initiative. They're not afraid to fail. They're not afraid to try. They're not afraid to be successful. They do implement the Father's purpose but they do it in a realm of um, their own initiative. So 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 3, 17. It was a little cold out here this morning. <laughs> For August, it's supposed to be hot, but it's not. Uh, the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And uh, we with whom unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory. So you're reflecting the Lord's glory, and you should be proud of that. You should, um, you know, exhibit or exude a, a confidence and a courageousness and an initiative that is reflective of your father's glory so remember the uh, and, and Jesus said in uh, Hebrews 2 11 he's not ashamed to call us brothers <laughs> okay so he the father's you know he's saying he's the son of God which means he is God and then he's calling us brothers which gets confusing theologically but I'm just saying the error or, or the adjustment in the spirit that's being made right now is the father is gathering sons to himself. He's, get, he's raising up sons that all creation has been waiting for. They make huge differences in society. This is not just something to be preached or prophesied. It's something to be done. And um, the other thing I want to mention to you is just out of Matthew 25. Um, it's the parable of the talents. And remember, you know, the... There was five talents and two talents and one talent, and then one guy buried his talents, and God got mad at him. And um, the, the guys that had five talents, 
you know, they, they told the Lord, they multi told the master, they multiplied their talents. And he said, I'll give you, f you know, 10 cities. I'll give you, if you multiplied your two talents, I'll give you, uh, you know, five cities. And he's, he's saying that in the spirit to us right now. If you will, uh, you know, the ma he left the talents, the master left. On their own, they went out and multiplied the talents. They... Uh, had life in themselves to do that. And that's what sons carry right now, this ability to multiply talents. That's the anointing that's on Trump. And it's the most remarkable thing in the kingdom right now that, that God has elevated this Cyrus or this son to be an example of what spirituality really looks like. And Lots of people are offended by it. They're running from it. They disclaim it. They distance themselves from it. But that's what sons look like uh, in, in this hour. So the father said to um, the guy that buried his talents, So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown, and I gather where I have not scattered seed. You knew that. And I want to suggest that you and I should know it too, that the father doesn't do everything <laughs> <laughs> he says, he, the, he's, he says, ask the Lord of the harvest to send forth laborers. And that's what the, the world is waiting for right now, is sons to volunteer and say, I understand the Father's purpose, and I'm going to bring it to earth. I'm going to speak life into it on earth, and I'm going to make it happen. That's what sons do. That's the hour that we're in right now. Do not be ashamed of President Trump. Be like him. Multiply. Uh, do great things and talk about them. Be the man or the woman of God you're called to be. You have a book. You have a calling. Stand up into the fullness of that and be who God called you to be. Be the champion that God calls you to be. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just uh, release sons in this earth. Father, we're asking that you would, uh, Father, empower your people, that you would dwell within us and cause us to magnify the name of the Lord. <clears throat> and, Father, not just talk about things, but do them. Father, make a difference. Bring heaven to earth. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I'm releasing confidence and courageousness in the mighty men and women of God that <clears throat> understood the Father's purpose and went out and slew Philistines with the jawbone of an ass. Father, I release that courageous spirit in your people that uh, will make a difference. And Father, we speak to this nation. We reclaim the authority, the mantle on the United States of America, and we release her as the light and the glory of the world. We, we do not relinquish this nation to Black Lives Matter or Antifa or Father Socialism or Communism. Father, we're releasing uh, the light and the glory to the world. We're releasing this nation to, to be uh, a habitation for the Father, to be the house that belongs to God, to be the, the light on a shining hill that causes nations to come to you. So Father, we claim this nation, and Father, we bless sons that are arising in the mighty name of Jesus to be uh, the champions that you've called them to be. Release sons, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for this hour, for this privilege. And Father, we step into our destinies in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Go get them. <laughs>